Hello, my name's Louise. And my name's Wendy. Welcome. <laughs> so, oh, we just funny. chat about, what is it we chat about? We chat about who we're really supposed to be, really, isn't it? Yeah. Um, and, and getting stuck in the bloody paradigm, which 99% of people are. Which, to be fair, you can't, we're born into this paradigm and... Um, I think it's intentional. I think we have to be able to learn the skill set to be able to break free of said mindset. Um, and the test is whether or not we can achieve that. And it's not about achieving it overnight because it's not you can't do it overnight. It it takes it takes the rest of your life, really, on keeping yourself in in that separate mind. From from the system. Because it is all set up to snare you in and distract you while you're worrying about what politicians say or what one, some celebrity says or does. You're not doing you. You're not living your... But, yeah, but also, you. It, it's also like um, when you do things for yourself, people go to you, well, that's being selfish. What? How can it be selfish if you're putting yourself first? Because you're the only person that can do it. Mm. And nobody else will. And you can't put other people first because you don't know what they need. Yeah, but nobody else can live your life. No. No. You know nobody I mean? else has walked in a mile in your shoes. So yeah. they don't they're not able to perceive things the same way as you perceive them because they haven't got yeah. the same background, the same history as what you do. Yeah. So everybody's different. Everybody is <laughs> kind of on their own separate journey just because of the we we live separate lives we have independent thoughts from each other i know i know that seems to be something that seems to be going against a system at the moment where they want us all to think the same stupid thoughts yeah but you've got you've got to think it, it when you're on a flight and you're listening to their safety precautions. When they talk about the masks coming down, they don't tell you to put the mask on your children first. They tell you to put your own mask on first. Because yes, so. if you pass out, then nobody's going to get a mask on. Yeah. Who's going to look after your children? Right. So you need to put your mask on and then you put your children's masks on. Or the do you know what? That's quite a good way of looking at it, isn't it? Mm. You, you've got to, there are, yes. I know that, I think the problem is people have mixed up this materialistic selfishness where you stand on the shoulders of others so that you can thrive. That, yes, that is selfish because all boats should rise with the tide, right? But everything else you have to be selfish about what it is that you want to achieve in your life the journey that you want we are all divine beings and our divinity is going to be expressed in different ways is it selfish though no. i don't think so no i would i would actually go as far as to say it is the most unselfish thing that you can do because if you're improving yourself, which takes you being selfish, then everybody, everybody around you benefits. 100%. Everybody, if you can put yourself first and love yourself the way you need to love yourself, then everybody you come into contact with will love. Yeah. And, and I think... Unless you're too high with your energy and people can't, hand, people can't handle it. Like, oh. Well, <laughs> yeah, I get a little bit of that sometimes. Um but I think you also have to be mindful that the people that you have around you in your life like you as the person that you are currently. That yeah. person might not be working out for you, but it works out for them. So when you when you start kind of making those improvements within yourself, they kind of smack buttons to be able to trigger you back into where you was so you have to accept that sometimes you have to not necessarily 
walk away and close the door, but you might need to walk away and give yourself the space that you need to be able to clean slate yourself. Because people will only treat you the way that you allow them to. Yeah. But if you haven't got any love for yourself, then you're going to accept people not loving you. Yeah. And also, if you trigger somebody, you, if I triggered you, it's not me who's triggered you. It's something in you what's triggered yourself. Okay. That's another thing what people don't get. Mm. And when you try and explain to them, yeah, but I didn't trigger you. No. I'm thinking you's triggered you, but mm. I've just brought it to the surface. Now yeah. you've got to sit down or do whatever you want to do and find out where that's come from. Yeah, but people don't. People have, but people don't understand it, and they and they don't want to go with, because it's uncomfortable. Because it's easier to project it onto somebody else's fault than taking accountability and going within. Because when you have to deal with these the, the these shadows of our lives they don't make you feel great so you have the to shadows are dark yeah which means it, it takes you to dark places and you have to find the light within yourself to be able to find yeah. your way out of that darkness i've just wrote something because i'm doing a thing you know with all different bits and i've just done one about your shadow and you've right. just hit it you've just hit it on the head Wow. But uh, you've just got to go. I, I do these meditations and it takes you back to your dark side. And I did one this morning and I went down to somewhere so dark and so eerie. My whole body was shaking and I was gagging for it. And I kept saying to myself, I'm safe, I'm safe. But it was so dark, couldn't see anything. Huh? But I allowed myself to get down there because I knew at the end of that, I, it's okay because it's just this meditation thing what I'm I'm learning to do. And you've already it. survived it. Yeah. You've already survived it. And it's but just it was, your brain no, doesn't know the difference between what has happened and what is happening. And it thinks because you're remembering something, yeah. it thinks that you're experiencing it again. So then it releases all the same chemicals in your body. So you, you feel exactly the same as if you was going through it. it so was but allow it it's that there isn't yeah. anything that that I mean you know how to allow it don't we yeah you've got it, it oh i obviously it's i at certain points i think when it was at its hardest and the thoughts were my biggest battle then i would swear quite frequently telling them to go away it, it get out go away and then mm -hmm. actively because if if somebody on the street was to say what you say to yourself, you would. You tell them where to sling it, but you don't tell yourself. You allow yeah. yourself to be your your worst enemy, and you can't. While yeah. you're having all of these negative thoughts, there is no way that you can change any element of your life, whether that's work, whether that's relationships, whether that's just what how you feel within yourself. Nothing will change. No. But, uh, yeah, it's a really strange one. To <laughs> and then I finish it, go to the gym, and I'm like, ta -da! <laughs> <laughs> Which is good because, especially if you've got emotions that are trapped, to be able to raise them to the top, but actually physically put them through a process. Yeah. Because yeah. your body needs that physical to be able to, to completely diffuse it. So even if you sit there and you just do the inner work, fabulous. That's definitely needed as step one. Yeah. But step two is you've got to you've got to physically process this. So going out and doing a jog, going out for a walk, getting out into nature where you haven't got any distractions, where you can just be. Oh, actually, you know what? This is good. This is this is nice. Actually, yeah, that worked. Mother okay. guy is amazing, right? You've got to, you've got. We have been. I think the problem is, and and I. I know everybody wants to deem everything a conspiracy, but you start unraveling these little onions 
there are so many layers and they overlap each other and you realize that it is an entangled web where it, it you might be aware of one string that's causing you but when you actually start unpacking where this issue within comes from you'll start expanding that web and seeing how all these different systems that we grow up in yeah have an impact on us because we don't realize that we are in an abusive situation it's just a normal situation this is true it's quite strange isn't it because i'm a massive believer right once you've got that emotion, what you've, you've you've got this emotion and you've brought it into your body, once you've accepted it and you've given it in, you bring it in, bring it in and let it fill your body up. And once you've released that trapped emotion, it can't come back because you've already accepted it in because there's nowhere else for that emotion to go to. Yeah. Yeah. Isn't that right? Yeah, one hundred percent. You you've got to do you've got to do that process to clear. You've it. got to face that trapped emotion and bring it into your body and love it. And, and if it makes you, you know what, forget, and I would say if if you're, you're entitled to be angry, if, if the emotion is that you feel angry, you're entitled to feel angry. It doesn't mean that you need to express that anger, but yeah. you're entitled to feel it yeah. and, 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 and unpick it. Why am I angry? What am I angry at? Because it's only by unpicking these emotions can you get to the root problem? And yeah. until you get to that root problem, you're never going to get rid of it. It will. How does it make you back. feel? Mm. Yeah. Oh, it made me feel shit. Okay. Well, why did it make you feel shit? Well, because this person said this. Yeah. But why did what they say make you feel shit? Well, when yeah. I was a child, right? Okay. Now let's now let's pursue that part. Now, when you was a child, what was it that had started this ball off where you have then can pick that ball up and reaffirmed it throughout your process of going through life? And when every time you've found a circumstance that has reinforced that emotion, then it kind of gives it more validation, which is a crock of poop. Because it, it it it's it's all in your mind. It's the ego, and your ego wants to survive in the driving seat of your life. And let's face it, any ego that is driving a life, it's a shit life. Because <laughs> the ego is not meant to be the runner. It's supposed to make you question things. It's supposed to make you look at things in a slightly different way. Not be completely solely within it. It's a tool, not something. You, you can't smack everything with a hammer, right? So the ego is a hammer. It has a purpose, but it's not something that you use all day, every day. Yeah, yeah. And, you, and, and most of us don't know who we are minus the ego because the ego is all they have ever known. Yeah, yeah. So and and I I know that when I first started on this journey, it were I just could not wrap my head around it because I had literally no background to be able to comprehend the words where my thoughts are not me. Yeah, because yeah. if they're not me, then who the bloody hell are they? Yeah. You know I mean? Because there's a saying, isn't there? You are not your thoughts, and you are not your body. Right. It's not you're getting into your car, you become your car because you drive it. Yeah. But you are not that car. No. When you get out of it, your car stays behind. It's exactly the same as our body and our mind. You you are not your thoughts, but what you think will make you what you think. Yeah. Yeah. I understand that. Right. So if I think um everyone dislikes me, I'm rubbish at this. And I keep thinking that and keep thinking that, then I'm actually putting that energy out, which is going to make people give me what it is that I am feeling. And that is going to reinforce how I feel. 
those thoughts aren't right because actually if you was to change those thoughts and approach that person differently, they would react to you differently. So they wouldn't reaffirm what you was thinking in the first place. That's it. Yeah. And and, and, and I was talking to a friend of mine who, who works with me because we work together, but we don't work together obviously because we go out on our different, our different routes. And he's having trouble with his ex-wife. And I just said to him, oh, his ex-girlfriend, because I've got a son together. And I said, you've got to start thinking differently about the whole situation mm-hmm. and put a different energy out to, to it. I said, because if you keep thinking negative to it, it's not gonna, it's not gonna blossom. If you keep well, thinking I think negative, when you when you when you use in 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 life, when you go, oh, I've got to go get the kids, I've got to go to the store. I've got to go and do whatever it is. I've got. Change that word. Change it. I get. I get to go and get my kids from school. I get to go and pick the foods to put in my body. I get to go and do a job. I get. Not everybody gets to do that. Yeah. So got makes it a chore, makes it something that is, adverse to what you want when actually yeah. you don't want to not have your children you don't want to not have your job you just need to change the mindset so I get to go to work instead of I've got to go to work yeah it makes a lot of difference doesn't it but that's what people don't understand as well and especially when, they, when, they, when you meet when yeah. you meet someone and they go oh god it's horrible outside it's raining I go how can you say it's horrible? It's raining. The raindrops have literally decided to fall on your head. Out of all the millions of raindrops, them ones that fall onto you have chosen to fall onto you. Be grateful that they've chosen you. Yeah. And they go, think of it like that. Or that your land. Look at how green this land is. We haven't got too much water. We haven't got too little water. We've got the perfect amount of water. And we were made with a waterproof covering. So we're not going to melt away. We just get a little wet. And we are made out of water. And and that is a. I'm, I'm glad we've kind of brought that up because I think those experiments by Dr. Mikiatu, he, he passed, but he did all of these experiments where he froze water with intention. Oh, uh, well, yeah, and they've got all different patterns. Yeah. So yeah. um, if you think, I hate you, I want to kill that person, those energies deplete your cells. They make the water molecules within your body not actually form a crystalline structure. So by you having those negative thoughts, I'm not worthy, I'm not lovable, or whatever it is, if it has a negative, you are physically impacting, poisoning your body. Your thoughts and words are poison to your yeah. body. Yeah. You can either evolve or devolve. Yeah. Right? And 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 your words and your thoughts are the key to the path that you want that you are on yeah so you need to think of love and and if somebody's being an an idiot forgive them forgive them what they do you haven't got to live the consequences of you only have to live the consequences of your own actions so whatever somebody else does forgive them they're the yeah. ones who have got to pay the penalty in the end whether it's in 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 life or when we pass through it, you will have to be accountable for what you say and what you think because i think a lot of people think that because they don't say the words that come into their heads that that's okay. No, you're still having those thoughts. Those thoughts are still going to generate your hell. Hell is personally created. Yeah. If you want this life to be the Eden 
then you have to make it within you for yeah. it to be seen outside of you. Yeah. But people just, I don't know, it's, it's weird, isn't it? It's just like all this other stuff. I think they're waking up. I think that, and people, I think, I do think there is an agenda, that there is a battle of light and dark. I, I do feel that. I, and I don't mean that in a religious context. I mean it as in for our souls. For because if we if we just learn to parrot what what is expected to be parroted, then you're kind of giving over your divinity, your soul. You're giving it away for somebody else to benefit from. It won't come and benefit you because you're not in the driving seat. You've given the control of your vehicle to somebody else. And let's face it, anybody who wants to have dominance over another person, it never ends well for that other person. Whether that's on an individual basis, on a local basis, in an organisational basis, or on a global basis. If, if somebody wants power over another person, that person who they expect to give that power up, that is your divinity, that is your soul. You give that up, you've got no comeback. You've got no comeback. Yeah. So yeah. I do believe this is a battle, and I think a lot of people are waking up to just how illogical the world is around. And we think back to, like, I often sit and think my granddad and my nan, they both survived Second World War. My granddad fought in it. This is not what they fought for. This is not what my grandparents fought for. This is not... My nana was bombed in, in the Blitz. She lost her mum and her baby sister. This world is not the justification for that loss. A this big is not that. why they fought. For, they didn't fight for our, for this country for us to passively give over our this country and ourselves because it, it, it it's one and the same. No, but it's just this. This the world at the moment. It's just got a bit silly, isn't it? It has, but I do believe people are waking up. I think it's just there is a great good making... coming. Mm. Well, we're now in the time of Aquarius, aren't we? So, and and that means all of this information, which quite staggering how much information is coming out at the moment. Um, all of this information, not I mean, my focus has been more on, um my spiritual not religious my spiritual progression how i can make myself better lighter because when 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 you're i don't know when you first fall in love with somebody that love you stop being sick you're constantly happy you're content you're likely to lose weight um or all of these positive aspects, but the reverse is true for when it's that negative. So we have to learn to take control of our thoughts and you can't be told what you think. You, you cannot allow somebody to tell you how to think. That is your divine right. What you think is between you and the maker. You and yourself, isn't it? Right. It, it is. It nobody else is going to pay the consequences. Nobody. But there mm -hmm. is, there is. I mean, as above, so below. Right. So you've got you. If you want the experience of the world to be one of peace, balance, harmony then that means you've got to find peace, 
love and harmony within you because it you won't see it otherwise. It's yeah. like people who are who who are desperate to find a relationship, but they keep saying, "Oh, these people they treat me the same." You know, whatever sex, it makes no no I no difference. If you won't, if you can't love yourself, then how is anyone else supposed to be able to love you? You've got to love yourself first. Loving yourself is the biggest fight of your life and it's the easiest thing for you to do. Yeah. And if you don't do it, then you're buggered, really. I mean, I just took my cat to the vet, right? <laughs> And the vet told me, I said, oh, are you beautiful? Thank you very much. <laughs> and, she said, and she said, I've talked to the cat. I said, no, I said, I'll accept it was for me. But he's lovely as well. <laughs> I'll pick you up whenever I can. Right. If my ears hear it, I accept it. Yeah. And I went into the, um, there's a, Global Fruits, and I go in there and I go, hello, beautiful. This lady said, oh, thanks. And then she realised I was talking to the owner. And I told her, I said to her, look, if that resonated with you, that was for you. You take I, it, 100%. I, I, I apologise, I thought it was for me. Just accept it, it's oh. for you. Oh. If, if, if even if it wasn't for you, accept that I said that for you. Yeah. Just take it. Don't, don't tell her, I don't want it back, because you were talking to somebody, somebody else. That's for you. Yeah. That's what you heard, then you keep it. And you're welcome. Yeah, give them with love, please. Yeah. Absorb yeah. it into every cell. Yeah. I, I, suppose, I suppose working in, in this nursing industry for as long as I have, <laughs> You can see people who kind of dip in and out of the service because they have ailments that periodically come up for, for one reason or another. And then you have those who have kind of more serious diagnoses and their mindset makes a huge difference makes a huge difference it may not make a difference to the outcome because the dis-at-ease has already occurred yeah the dis-ease yeah right um but it's normally a wake-up call and if if you change the way that you see the dis at ease, the 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 impacts, the effects. If you're able to somehow turn that into a lesson and make it into a positive experience, which which is hard, your health actually has benefits in the long run. But because yeah. so many people are lost, so many people are lost. So is a lot of people's health. Because of it, because we are, no, we are not our minds, but we are what we think. So if you're if thinking... If you think that yourself you're... is crap, you're right. If you think yourself is great, you're also yeah. right. So whatever you think, you are right. I like that Native American story of the, the black wolf and the white wolf. Like, it's the one that you feed that is the victor. I, if if, yeah. if you only feed your dark shadows, then they're the ones who are going to be the dominant because they're the ones you're giving energy to. Yeah. If you don't, if you don't give water and energy to your plants, they wither and die. You yeah. are the same, so you have to choose the energy you give yourself. Yeah. Because it's then like, other people give that same energy to you. They will reinforce your energy. They will reinforce it. It's like your garden. If you're going to grow a garden full of vegetables and you don't nurture your garden, the weeds will take over and kill okay. your, your vegetables. If you nurture half the garden and take half the weeds out, you're only going to have half the vegetables. If you nurture your garden and de-weed your garden and 
give it all the love and attention that it needs, your garden will grow the way you want it and your minds are exactly the same. Yeah, 100%. 100%. So it's another, it's like another question. You have a car, you take it to the MOT, you've got £500 worth of work on it. You pay the £500 for the work on it, but you won't pay the £500 for your own self. Ooh. Because it's sad. It, it, well, I think society as a whole, material investment is is accepted and encouraged. The same level of internal well expenditure is is deemed as selfish. Well, it's the other way round. But then that seems to be the society that we are in. It's all asked about face. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, get rid of your car. Just work on yourself. Yeah. And then come back to me and Lou in a year's time and turn around and say that you did make the best move of your lifetime. Yeah. Yeah. And and think for people who are out there who they do have a journey that they want to pursue. Write down what that journey is in every detail that you can see and then break down those into steps okay well what can I do right this second what do I need to do to achieve some of these other ones what order does it need to go out what do I need to change within me because the barriers the biggest barrier to you achieving your life dream is you you're the only one who can do it. And you are the only one who will stop you from achieving it. Self-sabotage. 100%. 100%. And if even if you do achieve it, you achieve it, and you by the time you do achieve it, you are so worn out because you've been fighting yourself every single step of the yeah. way. Yeah. So resolve your, your internal barriers. And then you can be able to overcome the external barriers. Because if you if you if you get rid of the internal barriers, if you need financial assistance and you're open to the mental suggestions, you need to pop off and go to a bookstore for some reason. Oh, okay, well, yeah, I don't really need a book, but you know what? Let's go. Let's go and have a little look. Either the right book will come to you or a person that is within that store that will happen to start talking to you will give you the answer. You have to follow your intuition. The, syn the synchronicities are there, but you have to follow your intuition you have to have faith in yourself your, intu your intuition is always right always always mm -hmm. but most of us don't listen to that little quiet voice I can remember when I was in London and I left work um I was working for the DWP at the time and I was on my way back to the doctors because I needed some diazepam because my back was in spasm. So I was going off to the pharmacy, but running home first. And this woman was on the bike path and I was on one of those little electric scooters. Not going fast because my back is hurting. So I'm, I don't want any sudden jars because it will be really painful. So I was going slow. So this woman's on, on the bike path with five dogs. <laughs> I went to go around her. But she took a step over so that her friend took a step over, which meant for me to now get around them, I have to go onto the dirt. Now, they're little wheels on these. So when I came to come back up I hit a I hit the lip and it threw me off smacked my face um, damaged my arms 
This woman turned around and told me that's not a bike. Since when have your fucking legs been round? <laughs> and pain is it triggers anger. It triggers anger. And this woman had done this to me intentionally. And you could see it and hear it in her words of what she was saying and the way that she was looking at me. And all I did is I shifted my body weight to move forward because I was livid. I was... <laughs> mm. That little voice went, I love you, I suck. Don't change it. It stopped me up sharp true i turned around i picked up my scooter and i walked off in the other direction that voice was my saving grace because it wouldn't have gone that way <laughs> if i had if that momentum of that emotion had been allowed to take root that'd have been carnage that'd have been Absolute carnage. Yeah. <laughs> but that little voice, that little quiet, mm, I don't think you should be doing that. Why don't you? That little voice wasn't little. It literally bellowed at me. But it bellowed at the, it It, it did exactly what it would have needed because that little quiet voice would have been smothered by the rage that was consuming me. So, Listen to our intuition. Listen to that quiet voice. Yeah, it because does exactly what it says on the tin. It's your best friend. 100%. It's your best friend. Yeah. It will treat you. How you treat other people is how it will treat you as your best friend. It only wants the best for you. So intuition. All the way, every day, love it. Yeah. I mean, yeah. and and I also think that that woman was a test, hundred percent, to see what your reaction was. Yeah, it was a test because you know what? Since then, I've not had nothing like that. Nothing really like that. And even no, uh, no, actually, I'd I'd say I haven't had anything like that happen since, yeah. because it didn't get the reaction that the lesson was. Yeah. Have you have you learnt that lesson? You've been saying you've done the work. Have you done the work? Let's have a test and see, because everything we experience is a test. This is a life of lessons. Yeah. And you are your own teacher. You're your own everything. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 100%. 100%. I do try and have conversations with my mum about it. Yeah, but they're a different generation. They are a different generation. But, uh, and, and it, it, I mean, I, things are changing. I kind of think that there is a time limit on on this kind of at least getting onto this path. Uh, I'm not saying that you need to have have your, all your ducks in a row as such, um, but you need to be awake enough not to carry on. on into the trap or traps that are, are further down the pipeline. I don't think they're far off in into the future. Um, and I think if you've, if you've got your own divinity that is in charge of you and your thoughts and your emotions, then you're not going to end up on the wrong path because I think once that path has been taken I think it will come a point where you won't be able I think yeah like you say once you've started this awakening path you can't go back no it is the matrix you won't let you, you, you won't let you 
No, you can't. Because it just no it, it so before it's you're unaware of anything other. So it's all you know. So you 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 pursue it one hundred percent. But once you've kind of realized that's not actually real reality you can't go back it you can't go back to it because it it, it you're no longer on that path you've changed no that vibration wow and they won't accept you they won't accept you i mean yeah. I, I just have to be okay with it and and the times are where there will be people in your life that will not be on this journey. And that's and okay. You can let go. That's okay. You can still love them. They don't have to be on the same journey as you because they've got their own journey, their own path. Maybe they need to come back for another visit to be able to to do the right choices maybe this time round wasn't for them yeah. they've got they've got too much to learn and that yeah they have you're gonna come back another 10 times <laughs> right now i've already said this is my last time i do not i want to go somewhere else <laughs> Saying that, Lou, i know this is my last time on this earth i i i think i don't i hope so I know. And I've so long. I think we've all come in to this timeline at this time because this is this is going to be one of those pivotal periods. We are at the end of a paradigm like every other it's society of this old earth and we're going into the new earth yeah we are but it's not so i think at the moment you've got two choices it's the new world or it's the new earth right the new world order which is not going to be good for anyone or the new earth i am 100% in new earth 100% i i try not to give any energy and i think for for the for those who are on this journey and they feel that the world around us they they that they're not listening they're not hearing they're not putting the people first they're not doing whatever it is that it is that your country is having a gripe with the government or the system with we're all having gripes we're all having gripes we're all going through exactly the same thing the paradigm is coming to an end. They are grasping at straws and they are grasping for souls. They're holding on, aren't they, by the skin of their teeth. And the, the masses, I mean, what? I started this back in 2004, 2003, 2004. 20 years, bloody hell. Um, and... The amount of people waking up now to back then, you only had a few people back then who were talking about it. Yeah, there's quite a few in there now. Now, now you open up YouTube and most of it is about alternative information about how we've been duped in believing that we are less than what we really are i believe that we are powerful oh god yeah we've got all this dna that is turned off and it's turned off because we haven't reached the vibration to be able to turn it on yet yeah we are at they've our turned, lowest they've turned it all off anyway no not like, um spotify and all them sort of things or, or they've turned all the vibrations down haven't they i've turned it higher well they changed it from four four, is it four four zero? And they made, changed it to four four two, so that all music, everything, it mm. it, it it 
irritates your your vibration, which it's makes your left side, your right side, isn't it? They've done it, so you're both your. I can see you on the monitor. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, bless. This is Rosie, everybody. Oh, Rosie. Oh, oh, oh little love. Oh, love me, Mum. Hello. Oh. Get a heck of <laughs> But, yeah, but it's all interesting. If you, if they are, if whoever watches this, just look into it. Oh, God, me, yeah. Me and Lou are both here to help you. Oh, 100%. Do you know what I mean? And and even if there's something that you you want to ask, but you don't want it to be public, please message us. Yeah, that we will happily respond to you. Yeah, and if it's that you want to have the the services that we provide, then we're quite happy to to book you in. But yeah. if you just but want we'll talk about the advice. services that we provide, Lou, uh, next time we have a chat, Lou can talk about her service because mm. it's not worth us both talking about both of our services at the same time. Uh, so Lou can do hers first. I look really white on this, don't I? Because I don't know why. I think no, so. you can go first. Go, you, you, but go I'm, still, I'm still coming to the end of my one because there's more to add to mine. Wow, does it ever stop? I mean, <laughs> I think. Mine is just that I provide a coaching service. I yeah. help you to overcome the mental, the emotional, and even the physical. You know, I'm I'm I am a nurse. I also have a background in fitness um, as a gym instructor and a personal trainer. Um, I've also done the heart math coaching um i've also done meditation coaching so there are many bows to because there's not one problem one one solution fits all there isn't that so i've tried to put as many bows in in my little don't know what you call in it my little violin <laughs> yes in me in, yes the strings um, to be able to help people because the biggest thing that you've got to start with is getting yourself out of stress. You have to get yourself out of stress. While you are stressed, you will never be able to gain any control because stress is the fuel needed for the ego to maintain its control. So more than happy to help people um it kind of feels more what's the word um more genuine in in my want and need that i've always had to help people i've always wanted to heal people and obviously growing up wanting to heal people has ended up in the form of being becoming a nurse um but that doesn't really help people to achieve well wellness yeah. um you know i've done we've done this side of our, our businesses are the best thing for people to come across yeah whether it's learning to still your mind we're learning to balance your emotions and being able to find out what your divine purpose is. Because for so many people, they don't know what their divine purpose is. And we need that. We need, we are going to be our own saviors. Nobody's coming to save our world. Nobody's coming to save our cultures. Nobody's coming to save our society. We have to do it. And it's not one person, but one person has to start the journey of waking up and finding what their purpose is, finding what they're good at, finding out what is holding them back and learning the tools and the techniques to be able to overcome them 
so that you can flourish and achieve all of these things that you deserve to be. Yeah. And at the end, we all deserve to have, it all boils down to actually, Lou, is the love. Oh. Love oh. and light. That's it. And we don't live in a society that does much of the love. We don't live in a society where, for, to be fair, there are a lot of families that struggle to do love. Yeah. yeah. And and uh, there's a lot of relationships out there that are abusive in one way or another. Love should not hurt. So if it hurts, it's, it's not, love. not love. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, it... it reach out to us no we are here to help i know i know that i'm new um even though i've been doing this for a long time kind of feel like i never feel like i've got enough to be able to help but i have and i know i have because i've already helped lots that's of a belief though isn't it yeah and and the, even this process i'm having to overcome my own baggage I know that I've helped people. I know that I'm more than able to help. You know, my my old landlord, he used to he he would say, you know, you are a natural healer. He's like the energy you give off. You know, I could just hold my hand an inch away from him. He's like, Oh my god, I can really feel you. I'm like, yeah. Cause I I like to heal people. Yeah. You know, and and yeah, it's part one of my country. own journey. Yeah. So so yeah, reach out. Happy to answer any questions. Um, if you want to give us um what it is that you need help with, then yeah, we'll we'll be able to get you on track. Get so on board. <laughs> so that you are armed for the the internal war that you've got to you've got to win you've got to win you will win you ain't got to win it you're gonna win it but we've got to give them the tools because we don't, we don't do it for they, you they will they everybody will win it right but like i said when i started this there was very few people doing this um and a lot of, oh, this might be a little bit contentious. Am I able to say contentious things? Do whatever you want. Cool. A lot of the programs that I... It's your trigger, it says. Yeah, this is true. Um, a lot of the self-help that I enrolled on um, within these oh. courses, they were very male energy oh yeah and when you have a trauma in your past being told to be gentle on yourself is about as much help as a chocolate fire guard um you you because because they have a nothing box when they go into meditation they just taught their little selves. You know when you say to your other half, what are you thinking about? Nothing. They are being genuine. There is nothing going on in there. I know it's hard for us to understand because our brains don't shut up even when we go to sleep. <laughs> right? They don't turn off. So I found it so frustrating to search for help. And don't get me wrong, every single one of the guys was lovely, fabulous. And yes, they have a role, but their role wasn't able to help me. Because I needed more help on how you can't quieten your thoughts down if your emotions are all over the place. If, if you are so bereft with heartbreak, then being gentle on yourself is no help. Learning to understand 
the tools and the techniques that it takes to be able to get your emotions under control. Because for ladies, we have to get our emotions in check before we can get our thoughts in check. Our emotions trigger our thoughts. So we have to get our emotions in check. And there isn't really anything out there to help you get your emotions in check, especially when there's an abuse or a trauma in your past yeah. that has hold of you emotionally. I suppose that's about it. That's 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 my my little thing. Help yeah, help you in any ways you need. Yeah. Anyway, we're gonna end it there. Because we'll be here in another four hours. I'll have to get up <laughs> <with it. laughs> I will <laughs> say this because we've been forgetting to say this. Please, we are new. Um and we this whole thing will develop but it needs your support to be able to get there so please like and subscribe and if you know anybody who would like to hear what we've got to say please share please share we would greatly appreciate it yeah yeah and maybe we can get you on for our chat as well come on board yeah yeah, yeah, no, they're, they're, no reason why we can't. I suppose once we've got a nice little community, then there's no reason why we can't have a a kind of off air chat where people can we can have like a little private room to to chat with people where they can have that as a added added little service. Who knows? Anyway. <laughs> Um, I, I shall I, I, when I do my videos I've not done one for a little while I always end up if you don't love yourself today remember that we love you just remember that yeah 100%, 100%. That, that's it for this one and I'm going to stop recording <laughs>